it was just devastating to hear the words that he said that um, he wasn't going to give me any treatment. Um, just utter shock and horror. It wasn't the diagnosis of stage four cancer that blindsided Louise. It was hearing that the pandemic meant there was nothing her doctors could do. The seven month wait for any treatment took its toll. When you've got cancer, you're constantly thinking um, how much it's spread now and, you know, you are worried all the time. Really, I became a bit of a shell of myself for a little while. Even though I was fighting, I still felt quite empty. The pressures of the pandemic on the NHS reversed years of progress in cancer care, but recovery is beginning. A record 2.7 million people were referred for cancer checks in the past year, and 315,000 started treatment. That's 2,000 more than pre-pandemic levels. But the backlog still leaves 30,000 cancer patients waiting for treatment. People are coming into the system for cancer checks, but if they do have a cancer, they're not getting treated as quickly as we need them to be. Just a bit of blood. That's new. Alongside awareness campaigns like this, the government's promising to deliver a 10-year cancer plan with record investment to cut waiting times. It's badly needed. We have increased the numbers of specialists. The numbers of radiologists, for example, who read CT scans has gone up pretty much in parallel with the amount of cancer that we see. But we know that we're under pressure and that's why we're putting in investment to correct that. There is no cure for Louise's cancer. She'd just like the government to find one for the delays that make living with it even harder than it should be. Rachel Younger, ITV News, Essex.